Hi everyone, I'm back for another video. Um, today um, it was a lazy day for me because um, I wasn't feeling too well um, and I just said decided to stay home because the weather is also raining outside and uh, I decided to make another video and today um, I did not wear any makeup. I know I look kind of scary right now. Um, uh, I'm home, relaxed, so I'm wearing a um, Hello Kitty shirt. So, anyways, um, today's topic, I ran through some cosmetics and skincare stuff that I want to throw away. Um, and I realized I can make a video about the things I regretted to buy. So, I'm going to get started. The first thing is, I talked about this before, is the, I think it's called a Boots Number no. 7 Botanics. Um, this is the one for, um, I don't know if you can see. It's called the Smoothing Eye Makeup Remover. Um, it says, you know, has it hydrates and smooths your eyes, whatever. And I really thought it's, um, you know, uh, organic products. But uh, it does not uh, remove my makeup, for especially eye makeup, that easy. So I really hated this product. And I still continue to finish it for my face because it was okay for my face. But for my eyes, it really has no go for me. So I'm glad I finished it up. I can throw it away. Um, so um, next thing is uh, this... Um, I think it's called a uh, Queen Haley uh, Mint Jump 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 Mask. Okay, and uh, you know it says help dry up the skin, acne, pimples, and everything. My problem was you know I bought this from Sally Hansen's. Um, I don't think it really worked for me, and and look at this, it all dried up. And I didn't get a chance to use as much and I hate products when dried up and because you waste your money and in this video I'm gonna talk about a lot of products got dried up and I don't know why maybe just my bad luck but if you guys have any products dried up you know so I will just say I don't like this product because it did not work for me and also it dried up so I couldn't continue to try it so I'm about to throw it away and I will say do not buy this one um, buy it maybe in a tube instead of uh, this jar and because it dried up so once while I'm talking about dried up products I was gonna say I bought a the MAC uh, through line you know the eyeliner uh, I have the black track and the night fish. Basically, um, you know those those are very good ones. They say that for eyeliner. I mean, I almost done, but still they dried up very quickly. And I even went to the Mac counter. They admitted that you know they all dried up very quickly. And this, I I couldn't get it back. You know, so I mean I can't make it um, on. They say maybe put in a microwave or something. I mean, I don't know how to do do it. So it's wasted product. I mean, it worked fine when it's not dry, but um, it really dried up very quickly. And I have another one, uh, the eyeliner uh, from Coastal Sands. Um, they have very nice eyeliner also, like those gel based, but they all dried up. I hate it. I have another one from Wet n Wild, the one that's cost the least. Uh, money and it's very um you know black black color and I uh, sorry I don't have that tube um jar with me but it also dried up but at least that one did not cost as much as as those ones because Mac ones cost a lot and also I want to talk about the Mac pink pot look at this this all dried up and um, this one is the famous one bear study. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, I feel like I just have to throw it away. And every time I go there, I, I just complain about those products dried up and, you know, really waste my money. I didn't really try, enjoy, or anything because they all dried up. Okay, um, another dried up products for me. Even, even, um, I think for the, the eyeliners, I think only the Bobbi Brown ones. They don't dry up as quicker as the other ones, but so I got the Bobbi Brown ones. That one is very soft and um, more, 
less dry and I still have it with me so I can use it but like um, Maybelline Eye Studio this one is also an eyeliner I think it's also dried up I just hate products dried up really I mean that's why um, in my daily routine I do not use um, eyeliner like those liquid um, I think it's called a I think it's gel eyeliner um, I do not like those type of eyeliner anymore so I will not buy them anymore because they are wasting money so talking about eyeliner I also want to say right now I only use eyeshadow to uh, apply eyeliners and also maybe uh, Urban Decay those 24-7 eyeliner which I like but and also I bought this um, new product I think it's right here um, this one, the Physician's Formula, uh, I really like the bo Booster 2-in-1 um, Lash uh, Boosting and Eyeliner Plus Serum. I like this eyeliner, but I don't know if it will dry up or not because I heard some people say it will dry up. But anyways, besides those kind of eyeliner I do not use anymore, I also talk about, I do not like I pen pencil eyeliner as much either those three did not work for me I you know I heard some YouTube gurus really like the Ame eyeliner so I went to buy one and try it out I hate it so this one is the Ame eyeliner and look I I did not use much at all because it was so hard to apply and it was just really it's, it's scratching my eyes and I hate it and also this one is um, retractable you know and this one is also another retractable ones and I hate it. it it just it just have no color it's not pigmented at all this one is called um, Borges um, I hate this one either so don't don't buy those eyeliners they are really bad uh, liner style. I don't know what happened to them. Those are expensive line lines. I think from Alta, and also another one from Studio Gear, and also from Alta. Uh, this one is eyeliner and all that. I mean, I hate those eyeliner eyeliners. They just don't do anything for me, and I feel like I have to use so much force to apply it, and nothing come out. So. I will list, try to list the names down below and you know just don't don't even bother buying those eyeliners so right now I, I still like my eyeshadow uh, for eyeliner the most because they look softer but if you look you want to look uh, uh, some kind of clean eyeliner I will say this kind of um, liquid pencil eyeliner I really like I think this is a good uh, dupe uh, for the, the dolly wink uh, I think at least I heard from uh, First Kitty, she really likes this eyeliner, and so far I really like it. But anyways, uh, move on, a couple more products. Um, this one, Urban Decay um, uh, Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, this is very famous one, and I don't know if it's my bad luck or not, but it cracked at the bottom, okay? And, um, you know, when it's cracked, I don't know what to do and it dried up very quick for this eyeliner and I mean no, it's not eyeliner um, eyeshadow primer and I and I really hate this product I mean I think the product itself is not that bad but it was really really hard to get the products even though the back it was not um, broken the, be the beginning I was hard to find for me to find a find it you know hard to get the products and and it was just really a pain so I still use the um, Too Faced uh, eye insurance for my eye primer so this one you know cost a lot of money and did not work for me and it cracked from the bottom and 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 when I went to Sephora I talked to them about that too but I don't think I have a receipt or anything I mean I cannot return it but anyways it was uh, it was with my money um, the next one is this uh, L'Oreal, um, I think it's the in Infallible, okay, I don't know if you can see, um, the lipsticks, you know, they say it's never fail, um, all I want to say is, I, I, I kind of heard people say, you know, if you get this lipsticks, um, it's kind of like, it will, it will stay on all day, so you don't have to keep applying with 
I was like, okay, you know, and but the thing is, you apply this first, but after you apply this, it was so messy. It's like there's so many stuff on your lips. I don't know what it is, and it's really dry and it's uh, it's not very consistency for the color, and it was horrible. And then you know after you apply this, you know moisturizer even worse. So I hate this product. Um, I, I know I know some people might like it. I I just don't like this product because it does not make your lips looks any good like smooth or clean or anything and the color is horrible um when i say color is more like it's not pigmented and it was just everywhere all over the place i i i don't like this lipsticks and the last product i will i will say regretting buying is this uh lush product i mean i was crazy about lush products for a while uh, not anymore um i still find them uh expensive and um I do not know the name of it, sorry about that, but uh, this bar, okay, is like, um, it's like this color, it's like this, it has very, very strong smell, and I think you just apply it on your body, you know, it will just moisturize and, and wake you up or whatever, um, I don't know why I bought it, but... <laughs> I do not know the name, I'm sorry, but this bar was no go for me just because it smelled too strong and I don't know why I bought it. And um, and when you use it, as you can see, those uh, those red beans all came off everywhere and it, and it was horrible. I think Lush products, they don't last forever. Not last forever, they don't last very long. I think maybe I should just throw it away because they don't... They smell very bad. I mean, you know that, you know, if frequency smell very bad and strong, you shouldn't use it. But I read good reviews online for, I mean, on YouTube for this product. And I just bought it, and I bought it in Hawaii. So I was there. I thought it's for, like, a soothing or I don't know what it is to calm you down. You know, it's good for relaxation when you use this for, like, moisturizing your body and stuff. So I said, okay, I will get it, but it was it was horrible. I did not like that. And the smell is very strong, which is kind of minty smell. So I didn't like that. Um, anyways, that's all I have for this video. And, um, you know, those products I really regret to buy. I wish I can return them, but I can't. So I'm probably just going to throw them away. And before I throw them away, so I thought, you know, just do this video very quick. And uh, hopefully you have a good weekend and enjoy your day offs. Hopefully you don't have to work this weekend. Anyways, I will see you next time. Bye.